Hi, I'm Elliot Trotter. Welcome to another episode of Absolutely Useful Throws. Today we're going to talk about a throw that all the cool kids are using called the shovel. And it goes something like this. As you can probably tell by now, the shovel is a really weird throw. And it's thrown most akin to actually a baseball throw, where you're coming down over the disc. So in order to throw it first is grip, to grip the disc, you are using your entire hand. So I'm putting my four fingers out on the rim of the disc, basically nestling the rim in between my thumb and first finger here, and then placing uh, my fingertips on the inside of the disc. On the outside, my thumb is just past the flight rings, uh, gripping just the edge of the top of the disc. Obviously, that'll change if you have a bigger thumb. Basically, you want to have as much content with the disc as possible. So throwing the shovel is all about release point and angle of the disc. First, we'll talk a little bit about release point. When you're releasing this throw, you're releasing it basically right in front of your body. So you're coming back, straight back, going forward with the disc, and releasing right in front of yourself. The next step is talking about angles. Generally, for uh, the way this throw curves, which is uh, outside in to inside out, the disc is angled with the outside edge away from your body. That's because when you're putting all your power into the release point, you're building up all this air pressure below. So if the disc is facing flat or facing the other way, that's where the disc is going to be taken by all the air pressure you're generating with this quick uh, arm motion. So if you're releasing it this way, keeping this edge up, all the air pressure is compounding below. At the release point, it's going to carry the disc and try to flatten itself out and come back in to your receiver. So again, this is a really weird throw. When it comes to uses of this throw, there's only one, and that's to make everyone else on the field feel inadequate for not having the ability to throw this. There are, of course, a lot of variations in how this throw can fly. All that change with the angle of the disc um, and release point, whether it's higher above your head, maybe lower to the, to the ground. The bottom line here, to get good at the shovel, as with any other throw, is to practice. I'm Elliot Trotter, and this is The Shovel. Okay,